All right. All right, let's just start this book over again. Sorry, guys. All right, a normal pig. All right, Pip was a normal pig who did normal stuff. She liked making art. She liked cooking with her family. And she liked thinking about what she wanted to be when she grows up. So over here, you can see like a news reporter. She's imagining herself as a journalist or a writer, um, a psychic, a doctor or a surgeon to be more exact, an astronaut, looks like a mechanic. It's kind of like career day. She's kind of trying to uh, figure out what she wants to be. All right. Then one day, a new pig came to school. Ew, what are you eating? It stinks. Pip didn't know how to respond. It was just her normal lunch. The new pig was in Pip's art class too. Weren't we supposed to draw houses? So that's her drawing right there compared to everyone else's. Pip hadn't changed, but she started to feel different. Is that your babysitter? That's my mom. So there is Pip in the bus. When her parents asked her what was wrong, she replied, why can't you make me a normal lunch? She looks very upset. On Saturday, Pip's mother had an idea. Why don't we take a trip to the city as a family? Pip had never been there before. You can see they're about to take the subway and the train. Cool. Kind of like Chicago. Pip heard so many different languages. And then this is her right there, sitting on the bench. And she's saying, I don't get it. Oh, no, she puts right there. Sorry. <laughs> and it looks like all these speech bubbles are saying different languages, and I can't read any of them. At the playground, all the pigs looked so different. Oh, I love this page. Look at all these different types of pigs. There's pigs with stripes, pigs that are different colors, different polka dot colors. Cool. Even the food was different. Is there anything on the menu that's not so weird? Maybe it's weird for you, but not for me. I like it. When they got home, Pip was feeling better. Do you want me to make you a normal lunch? No, thanks. I'll bring what I always eat. On Monday, Pip sat at her usual table in the cafeteria. Ew, she's back with her weird lunch. Maybe it's weird for you, but not for me. I like my lunch. Want to try it? It's good. Want to trade? Mmm, you should try it. It looks like this other person's kind of upset because... Their bullying didn't work. And weirdly enough, by recess, Pip felt pretty normal again. The end. All right, so that's the end of the book. And if you want to participate in this activity, all you need is a blank sheet of paper like how I have and something to draw with. I'll have my paper like this. It's a little blurry right now, but it'll go in focus in a little bit. And I'm going to be using marker. That way it's easier to see uh, later on. So over here is the cover of the book. And you can see that she is the odd one out, obviously, even though it's called the normal pig. But what we're going to do is we're going to draw a regular pig. And then if you want to change it in any way, such as add polka dots, stripes, or something like that, you can add it at the very end. Okay?
So what we're going to do, I'm going to open my marker up, and let's get started. So it looks like the first step here is right in the middle of the face, and it's the interesting nose that the artist went with. So this artist for this book went with a nose shape like that. And then she or he drew um, two vertical lines here. So one right there and one on the other side. Okay. And I think that's how you would draw a normal pig nose anyways, if you were drawing like a regular pig. All right. As you can see from the cover of the book, the majority of the eyes are all the same. So I'm going to put one eye over here and another eye on the other side. And there's not that much detail in the eyes. It looks like it's just a black dot. I'm just going to add a black dot on mine. And one right there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to zoom in a tad bit so you guys can see what's going on on the cover. Sometimes the mouths are displayed differently. So on this guy right here, there's two teeth in the front. On this person right here, the mouth is a little open. On the one in the center where it's pip, the mouth is uh, kind of smiling with the teeth. And the majority of them have just like a really good smile with just having lines curved on each end of the nose. So it's up to you to decide what kind of mouth you want. I'm just going to do draw two lines on the side of the nose just like that. That's what I would do. All right, I'm going to move a little bit quicker. On the top of the head, we're just going to draw a slight curve, just like so. And it looks like the majority of the pigs in the book have kind of like ears that look like this. But if you want to draw your own ears, you can. I've seen kids kind of like do a swooping motion like this guy right here. But I'm just going to draw ears like that. All right, this is part where it gets a little more cartoony because it's based on this book. So we're just going to draw a line from the ears going all the way down right there like that. All the way Hello. down. Like um, can you do the, um, can you um, draw the whole thing again? Um, I'm, rec I'm recording it so you can, um, we watch if you want, but I gotta keep moving because I only got three minutes left. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Um, so the next part I'm gonna base off the foot that I see right here off of this pig. So this pig has kind of like two toes. I'll draw one foot with two toes right here. And then one foot with two toes right here. And then I'm gonna close the bottom part up. And last but not least, if I look through the book, um, the hands are just having two little hooks as well, just like that. There we go. If you want to draw a spiral tail, you can. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And that's the basics of how to draw the pigs from this book. Now, it's not a normal pig, because normally a normal pig would ha have uh all four feet on the ground but this is from the book so if we take a look at the playground page i think it's back here somewhere where they were in the city there we go so some pigs had stripes some pigs had different polka dot colors some of them were different colors entirely so if you want to draw your pig in any way you want you can so if you want to make it different you're allowed to all right, I'll leave mine up for maybe a minute or two. And if you're there done you early, you may hold it up to the camera, and then you can show everyone what you did. Mr. Mill? Yeah, what's up? I want to cover my pig with orange and yellow and black dots. Okay, go ahead. No one's stopping you. All right, I see Luke's drawing. I see Jaden's drawing. Samir, good job. Lauren's trying to color while she's showing me. Interesting. Good job, guys. All right. I'm going to take my drawing off of my screen so you can see me instead. But we can keep sharing. So if you still want to share your drawing, you can hold it up to the screen so everyone can see.
And if you're not done yet, you can still share it today. Logan, good job. I see yours. I see Evelyn's. Good job. Oh, and I saw your uh, other drawing before we started, too. If you were wondering, I saw your other one. Uh, Dimitar, good job. Anzara, awesome. Sahaya and Maya, awesome. Liam, hey there. Good job drawing your pig. Lauren, oh my gosh, Lauren has a bunch of artwork. Vaughn, cool. Jacob, awesome. All right, with that said, I unfortunately got to get going because I have first grade right away. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.